Hello again. You may have seen my video on the chicken coop and the chicken run and the chickens and how I have that set up. Uh, but what I want to show you now is my compost barrel. Homemade. Made it myself. I got the barrel at Rural King for $19.99, say 20 bucks. And between the hinges, the latch, uh, and the post, I probably have $45 in it. Uh, I might have went a little overkill. What I have here is I got some more lines on the post. If this one barrel works out really well, I've got enough room, I'll put another barrel up above it and put in a second barrel, and that way it's all in this one area. But it's very simple. I got the barrel. That's actually a piece of inch and a quarter top rail pipe, like this stuff here, is what that is going through there. It's good and thick. That's actually an antenna pole that I took an antenna off of somebody's house. That was a 20 foot pole that I cut down. It's even a little heavier than that top rail, but I got it wrapped on there with lag bolts to where it will not come off. Uh, this, these pieces of wood here are there just to keep this pipe from sliding back and forth. I'd hate for that to come out when it was full. I drilled holes all around the barrel, except in the door, for drainage, for airflow, and in the top of the barrel on this side, I put some in for airflow. I didn't put it at the bottom. Uh, I had to put a stop in here, because if I take that out, it tends to want to roll, and the door wants to go to the bottom. So I must have my hole off just a little bit in the center of the barrel for the axle that I have through there. Uh, these pieces here, I've got on here for handles, because when that gets full, it's not going to be the easiest thing to turn, and you don't want to get your fingers in here, because this barrel can slide a little bit back and forth, and you don't want to pinch your fingers, so you can get it full, and you can just take it and grab the handles, spin the barrel, and go from there, and put the lock back in, right there. I drilled a half inch hole, I got a long carriage bolt, the hole goes down in the post, just put that in there to keep it from spinning, so there's no pressure on the door. Uh, the door, I've got a couple of barrel latches, and inside, you can see where I've got all the holes drilled in here. Nothing in here, well, I take that back. There's two leaves in there. We're starting, we're starting early. Uh, but anyhow, that's how that's gonna work, and I'm gonna start putting some stuff in there. I'm actually gonna cut the grass with the lawnmower and, and bag the grass this time and put a good load of that in here to get it started. And then I'll start adding other stuff. I've got uh, the pine shavings and the chicken manure when I clean out the coop will go in there. I've got some pigeon manure, which is very similar to, the, to chicken manure. It's too hot, has to be composted. And I do have a friend of mine that's gonna give me a bag of rabbit manure which I'm going to use some. I got a little. I just planted some fall crop tomatoes. I'm going to put some of that on there, and then the rest I'm going to put in the compost barrel for compost. So next year I'm going to put a garden in, and that should help with that. But if this works out real well, they're saying four to six months. I should have some decent compost if I get some good. If I get the right material in there, and we'll see how it goes. And if it goes real good, I'll make a second barrel. But it's a far cry. Forty-five dollars than having to order a barrel that costs $125 to $175, but depending on what you want to get. And I don't know that they're any better than this situation here. I don't have anything inside the barrel to agitate, except for maybe where these bolts come through. Then bolts do come through there a good ways. I don't know if you can see that one. And over there, and even up here, let me see if I can get it up there and show you. So they might be enough to grab it, and down at the bottom they stick out about two inches. Might be enough to grab it and uh, help agitate some of that stuff. But I think just spinning it slow and spinning it a few times will do the, will do the trick just fine. These are eight foot four by fours. They're in the ground two feet. And I just put a two by four on the top to keep them from wanting to warp and spread out at the top and cause me a problem because if they're out of level, at all if there anything starts to go out it's going to really put a bind on that strap and we don't want to do that especially when there's any weight on it but that's that 
that's my homemade compost barrel and hopefully down the road I can repost another video and show you how that worked out thank you if you have any comments leave them below please and if you want to subscribe feel free to subscribe have a blessed day